Hi, Little Hawks. My name's Olivia. I'm Emily. I'm Max. And today we're going to be filming a Hanukkah ornament lesson. Hi. So today we're going to be doing a Hanukkah lesson for our Holidays Around the World celebration. So Hanukkah is an eight-day festival for people who celebrate the Jewish religion. And it's also known as the Festival of Lights. They celebrate it because it was commemorating the building of a temple, which is where they go to worship on Saturdays. So that's just a little background on Hanukkah. So we're going to go ahead and have Miss Olivia start on our materials. All right, so some of the materials that we're going to be using today that are also in your bag. First, we have our white yarn. You're going to need some Elmer's glue, blue popsicle sticks, any kind of Sharpie to write your name and the date on it, and then something heavy to put weight on top of your ornament while we wait for it to dry. Hello, little hawks. Thank you guys so much for joining me here again today. Uh, once again, I am your teacher, Max, and I'm going to be introducing some vocab words right before you get into your lesson. And so, yeah, let's go. The first word we have is the word Hebrew. Can I see that? Now, Hebrew is the language spoken by most people from Jerusalem or people who support the, uh, the Jewish tradition and the Jewish religion. And this is spoken by many people around the world, but mainly it's from people who live in Jerusalem or around the world. So yeah, that's Hebrew, all right? Now the second word we have is the word Torah. Now, Torah is basically a set of rules that Jewish people live their life by. That is Torah, okay? Second word we have today, or third word, sorry, is Mazel Tov. Now, Mazel Tov is very simple. It's just the Jewish phrase for uh, the word good luck, okay? And so for the last vocab word we have today, we have Star of David. Now, these vocab words that I've been showing you are all in the shape of the Star of David. Now, the Star of David is basically the symbol of the Jewish religion. Those were the vocab words. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson that uh, they've prepared for you today. And yeah, come back and see me for the open-ended questions. We're gonna go ahead and start with our popsicle sticks. So we have Six each, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we are going to take three of them at once, and we're going to put them in the shape of a triangle, just so we know what it's going to look like. So we're just going to do ours down on the table, but then we'll show you guys what we want it to look like, okay? So you want to just take a little drop of glue, you're going to put it on the edge, it should be very small. You're going to take the end of your other popsicle stick and you're just going to press that on top. And then once you've done that, you're just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of both of those popsicle sticks. And we're going to put... It might be a little difficult at first, but you guys will totally get the hang of it. And then whenever you've made your first triangle, you can start on your second one and we'll attach them afterwards. Mine accidentally fell apart, but that's okay, it might happen. Once it dries, it'll stay together a lot better. So this is what my first triangle looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the second triangle. So this first triangle, we have the top pointing up. So it looks like this. And then the second one that we put on here, we're going to have this part pointing down. So it'll have a straight line across and then two lines down. And then we'll show you guys once we're done. <laughs> so we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to put glue on the top of one stick and put these two together. And then a little dollop on each end. And then we'll put on the last side of our triangle. Once both of your triangles are done, you can take the second one that you've made and flip it upside down. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna put glue on each of the corners in the middle. Okay, 
Okay, so we have our two triangles, and we're going to put them both together, and then put one over. So we're going to glue them on to look like that. Whoops. That's okay, it might happen. <laughs> You're just gonna find any sort of weight you have around the house. I'm just using a little roll of tape. And you're gonna set that down on top of your ornament and give it about 10 minutes to dry. In the meanwhile, we're gonna take our string and we're gonna tie a little knot to make the top part of our ornament. If you don't know how to tie a knot, don't be shy to ask for your parents' help. And also, you guys won't need the scissors because we actually already cut your pieces of string inside your bag. But if you wanted to make it a different size and use some scissors, be sure to ask mom or dad to help you with it, okay? Be sure to not do it by yourself, but you probably won't need that because we already cut them for you, but it just depends on how you want it. Once you've tied your little knot, I'm just going to put a little glue on where the knot part is. And you're just going to place that on the pointy star top part of your ornament. Okay, so it might be a little bit hard to see, but we just put our little knot right at the top so it'll hang off your tree or wherever you decide to put it. So now we're just gonna give them 10 minutes and wait for them to dry. Okay guys, so we've waited about 10 minutes for our stars to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and show you our examples. So it looks like this, and this is our star of David. So actually our little string at the top isn't quite glued on yet, but it'll stay once we give it a little more time to dry. So now we're gonna go ahead and write our name and the year. That's what we're gonna write. But you guys can write whatever you want. You could write Happy Hanukkah or Merry Christmas or the year 2020, because that's the year we're in right now. So I'm going to put my name, Emily, and the year 2020. So I have my Sharpie, and I'm just going to write it right on here. Okay. Right. Here are our finished products. Now yours might look a little different. It might look just like this, but it'll turn out however you want it to. So we have our names and then the year. I put a smiley face on mine, but Miss Olivia says Little Hawks. So it'll turn out however you guys want it to. So now we're gonna have Mr. Max go over our open-ended questions. Welcome back, Little Hawks. I hope you guys enjoyed their lesson that they made for you. And so now we're just gonna be going over some open-ended questions. So I'm just gonna ask you a question and you tell me what you think of it, okay? All right, so the first question we have today is, do you know what Hanukkah is? Okay, that's cool. All right. The second question we have today is, have you ever heard of Hebrew? That's cool. I, I have heard of it. Um, the third question, where do you think people speak the language Hebrew? Okay, that's okay, that's cool. I agree with that. And the fourth question, what is your favorite part of the holiday season? Okay, me too. Personally, my favorite part since my birthday is the 19th, so it's pretty close to December, it's pretty close to uh, Christmas. And um, yeah, so that's just my favorite part. I kind of get a lot of gifts. Uh, but yeah, thanks again, Little Hawks, for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed our lesson. All right, Little Hawks, thank you so much for watching our lesson this week. We hope you guys enjoyed what you made today. We look forward to seeing you guys soon, and we hope you have a good break. Bye, Bye. guys. Can't wait to see you.